Modern fastening technology is becoming increasingly important in civil and structural engineering worldwide. Each year, millions of torque-controlled expansion anchors are installed in construction sites around the world. However, independent studies have identified poor construction procedures as one of the main causes of structural failure, with over-torquing and under-torquing being the number two reason for failed job site inspections. Problems occur if a torque-controlled expansion anchor is over-torqued near to the edge of the base material. This results in the cone being pulled too far into the expansion sleeve, which generates high splitting forces during setting. These forces may be so high that the concrete spalls or is split, reducing the load-carrying behavior of the base material. This type of issue might be visible during an inspection, and when identified, a suitable solution can be found. However, when the base material is obscured by the item to be fastened, for example, a steel plate, the splitting may not be obvious to visual inspection. Conversely, when a torque-controlled expansion anchor is positioned away from the edge of the base material, the splitting force is absorbed by the surrounding concrete without any damage. But in cases when the anchor is over-torqued, the top section of the anchor can be weakened or fail due to the action of torsional forces, resulting in nearly zero resistance within the hole. Over-torquing is not the only problem, though, as significant issues also occur if an expansion anchor has been under-torqued. If during the installation process the metal expansion anchor is under-torqued, the cone is not in the right position related to the expansion sleeve. This means this wrong position is corrected by external loading, pulling the cone further into the expansion sleeve. This results in unforeseen displacement of the anchor and consequently in a maybe structural instability.